The deciding vote was cast by Mr. Quentin R. McCord, the newest and second largest stockholder in the company. A cat? Now, where did you come from? Are you looking for Nola? She's up in her room asleep. You should know that. I wonder who that could be. Come on. Floyd. Mr. McCord, I know it's late, but I need to see you. Of course, please, come in. I've had a lot on my mind today, Mr. McCord, especially since I found out that you and Nola went to see Father Fitzpatrick concerning my daughter. I think there's some things that we need to talk about. Floyd, may I offer you a brandy? No, thank you. This isn't a social call. I see. There's a few things that we need to get straight between us. All right, Floyd, won't you sit down? No, thank you. Very well. Now, you said you wanted to talk to me about uh, Anastasia? I want to talk to you about my daughter. That all of a sudden you and Nola have decided to start calling Anastasia. I wasn't made aware of the fact, Floyd, that you weren't consulted in the decision to change the baby's name. Well, I wasn't. Floyd, you must understand that Nola had your best interests at heart. I don't know what to believe. Floyd, we both know that the name Kelly was chosen for all the wrong reasons. And Nola's trying to rectify that mistake. And I know for a fact that she intends to keep Louise as the baby's middle name in honor of your mother. I already heard all that from Nola, but that doesn't change the fact that I wasn't consulted about the change in the first place. And that also doesn't tell me why I wasn't there when you went to see Father Fitzpatrick about the uh, christening arrangements. Well, I know that Nola tried to reach you. Floyd. Oh, yeah, she tried to reach me, only after it was too late. If Nola really wanted me to be there, why, why didn't she contact me before she made the appointment? Not the morning that she, that she was planning to go. Well, I suppose that Nola's had a great deal on her mind lately. Uh, and then, and then I find out that she's decided to talk Tony out of being the godfather so that she can ask you to be the godfather. Isn't that right? Yes. Yes? That's all you're gonna say is yes? What would you have me say, Floyd? For starters, you can tell me why you're doing all of this. Oh, Floyd, listen, when Nola asked me to be the baby's godfather, I considered that an honor, and I accepted the responsibility readily. Now, I have never denied the fact that I've grown quite fond of your daughter ever since she's come to live in this house. In fact, Floyd, she has been here since the day she was born. Well, that certainly isn't by my choice. Mr. McCord, she may live here, but she's my daughter. I'm only too well aware of that fact. So don't even try and think that you can take her away from me. Good God, Floyd, that was never my intention. Oh, no, no, of course. I mean, she only lives here. I mean, you're the one that's with her and Nola all the time, and now, now you've decided to change your name without even talking to me first. A and you're planning to be Godfather. God, you must think I'm really stupid. If that's not trying to take my daughter away from me, I don't know what is. Floyd. Let's try to restrain ourselves emotionally, shall we? I don't want Nola awakened or the child. Why don't you let me worry about Nola and the baby for a change? Now, Floyd. Floyd, I want you to understand this. I have never tried to take your place as father to your child. Now, your child, any child, should never, ever be denied the love and in the presence of its natural father. I've never tried to do that, Floyd, and if that's how it's appeared to you, believe me, I am sorry, and I apologize. But I want you to know, Floyd, I want you to know that you are welcome to come by here any time you wish to visit. In fact, I encourage it. You mean that? I certainly do. Okay, thanks. There's no need to thank me, Floyd. Floyd, let me extend this invitation to you. Now, on Christmas Eve, Nola and I are going to the Bowers for a while, and then we'll return here to open presents. Why don't you come by and, and join us so that you can spend the holidays eve with, with your daughter? I'm sorry, it's already a little too late for that. Uh, I've already made plans with Leslie Ann. 
but if it's all right with you, I'd like to come by earlier in the day because I'd like to give her her, her, her uh, presents. Of course, if you want. Anytime you wish. So uh, I'll call Nola and uh, tell her when I'm going to come by. Fine. I just wanted you to understand how I felt about all this. Anastasia is my daughter. And no matter where she lives or who she lives with, I'm not going to give her away. Not to you, not to anybody else. to talk to me and the party was winding down and I thought what better time for the two of us to get acquainted don't you agree by all means please come in thank you now can I get you a drink oh no 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 thank you I've had quite enough to drink what with all the well-wishing and toasting of Alan I see. I trust my father and Alan thanked you generously for your support. Oh, yes, yes. And uh, you didn't seem to come out a loser either. Oh, I never do. And I can assure you, Miss Chamberlain, neither do I. Ah. Do I... do I detect a little threat in that? Oh, no, no, of course not. I just think it's time that uh, you and I had a little talk. Won't you sit down? Yes. Thank you. Floor's yours, baby brother. Miss Chamberlain, when we talked earlier, you said that you had no idea why I chose to keep my identity a secret, nor did it concern you. Oh, did I really? How noble of me. Quite. But what... Uh, from what I gathered from our conversation, I believe that your father... Our father? Yes, your father has been searching for his long-lost son, am I correct? Oh, yes, he's practically called out the entire standing army of Bulgaria looking for you. You know Mike Bauer was involved in the case, and uh, Ross Marler, too, I believe. And, Miss Chamberlain, your father must be stopped from looking for his son. Oh, why? Well, because he might succeed. And I don't think you find that prospect very pleasing. Oh, well, let's not talk about me. We were talking about you. Now, why do you not want my father to know about you? Don't tell me you have some, or should I say, another deep, dark secret that you don't want him to know about. Miss Chamberlain, Henry has a serious heart condition. And any shock could have an adverse effect on that condition. And I wouldn't want to see that happen. <laughs> How considerate of you. I'm deeply touched. But that can't be the reason that you've uh, kept your secret all these years. One of the reasons. Uh, Miss Chamberlain, in spite of what I may think of you at the present moment, I can only believe that you want your father's best interests at heart and that you wouldn't want to see him harmed in any way. Am I correct? Yes, you're correct. I love my father. I'm his only child. His only legitimate child. And because of my love and devotion for my father, your secret is safe. And I will do what I can to dissuade him from looking for you. Do I have your word on that? Yes, you have my word. Can I trust you to keep your word? Have I ever given you any reason not to? Mm -hmm. 